The top environmentalist in the U.S. government says she's proud of new protections and policies enacted under President Barack Obama. We're in a spectacularly different place today than we were when President Obama took office. Before developing countries would point a finger at us, now they're wondering if the U.S. will turn its back on science and be left behind. Left behind because the next U.S. president, Donald Trump, has vowed to roll back key environmental regulations like the U.S. Clean Power Plan and the Paris Climate Agreement. He's also put Myron Ebel in charge of finding the next environmental leader in a Trump administration. Ebel believes climate change is a political movement, not a scientific fact. And Trump himself has promised to bring back jobs in America's coal country. We're going to put the miners back to work. We're going to put the miners back to work. With nearly 200 countries promising to lower carbon emissions under the Paris Climate Agreement, what can Donald Trump do to unravel the deal? Well, for a start, he can actually change the domestic regulation that helps the U.S. meet its Paris commitment. But even then, he'll have to wait four years to fully withdraw. According to the Center for Climate and Energy Solutions, repealing these regulations requires a new plan, new public comment period, and if there is no replacement, the government risks a lawsuit. Analysts also say if Trump does cancel U.S. participation in the Paris Agreement, it would mean a loss for U.S. companies that make renewables, a market supported by global businesses to the tune of $286 billion last year. Environmentalists are now counting on pressure from those companies and local governments to keep up the momentum on emissions reductions, whether in the U.S. People want it. They are demanding it. And energy efficiency saves money. Or abroad. The expectation is clear. We continue the path. We continue to chart our course. Jessica Stone, CCTV, Washington.